Welcome back. Quick video. I know I haven't been active as I wanted to today. I was dealing with article stuff and family stuff. And then I saw an article that something that happened in Kansas, um, which is tied to what happened in um, Utah with that one guy that got killed by the FBI for making jokes online. Um... Yeah, the wind just fucked up that onion. It was doing real well, and that windstorm came in and just fucked it up. But these baits are working. These ants are gonna die. Apparently, they weren't. Apparently, this was more like a evacuate area when there's heavy rains and stuff. But they weren't actually nesting in there. But anyways, they're gonna die anyways. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, there was another case where police raided a newspaper like a journalist building, newspaper building, and then the home of the owner, who was a couple years away from her triple digits, and she died as, as a result. And, yeah. And it was because uh, they released, they were about to release an article involving, in a DUI, involved in a restaurant owner. Um, I would say name if I could remember it, I just don't remember it. Uh, it's like some Nelson name or something like that. Um, it's like Marion, Kansas is where this happened. Like Marion, Madison, Kansas. Um, and then they whipped up some false accusations about someone in the news station stealing his identity. And they did a raid. And yeah. Um, and that resulted in that. So. With an increase of journalists getting silenced by law enforcement i'm here to say no matter what they do they will not silence me i'm well aware of the paranormal and if they do heaven forbid off me i will haunt them for the rest of their lives harming those that just not really harm but i will be haunting them for the rest of their lives I will haunt their police station until justice is served and a little bit beyond but I just realized there's a cicada here. I'm gonna move you. Oh, shit! <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I will not be silenced. No matter what happens, I will not be silenced. By no law... By no power-hungry law enforcement. Luckily, the law enforcement in this area is not really power-hungry, so that's not an issue. The FBI might be an issue. But, I have means of protecting myself. I will not disclose those means, but I do have those means. So, with that, that's about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye. Actually, this is like a little part at the end. Uh, this is also like a call to other content creators, especially those that more news type, conspiracy type. So that includes Shane, Shane Dawson in a bit, a little bit. Um, but, um... This is a call to you guys to, yeah, this is going to get a little bloody. This, it seems like the government has declared war on us content creators, has declared war on us journalists, and yeah, this is going to be a little dicey, but we will succeed if we hold together, back each other up, cover each other's asses, and all that. So, because the government's getting a little desperate with the whole, I guess, SAG after strike. They have no way to distract us because no movies or anything like that are coming out. And no one's promoting them. So, yeah. They are panicking. And this is what they do when they panic. They go after journalists. And content creators. So, they've declared war on us, it seems like. So... We definitely got to hold strong. Hold the line. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.